Hello everyone and welcome back to Glorious Crafts. Today I'm going to be making a two-tier tray using two of the burner covers that I got from the Dollar Tree. They're a set, so they're two for a dollar. I also have clothespins that I used the Waverly Wax in Antique and I have this beautiful candlestick that I've had that I'm going to repurpose to make this two-tiered tray. So, let's get started. So I used the Waverly Wax also on my candlestick and on my clothespins. So I have Gorilla Glue and a stick because it seems like when I take the Gorilla Glue out of the top of the tube it doesn't last very long so I'd like to have it last till I'm out. Seems to get hard. So with my two tiers that I have here this is how I'm going to set it up top and bottom so at first I'm going to open my Gorilla Glue is a little tough to do. Open my Gorilla Glue and my popsicle stick. I'm going to get some out and I'm going to put it around the bottom. Now this is going to take 24 hours for this to cure and I'll have a strong bond and I don't have to worry about it coming apart. So what I did was I flipped my burner cover. This is going to be the bottom. This is going to be the top with the ridge. And I'm going to put my glue around the entire bottom of my candlestick. because I'd like a secure hold. Now I'm going to take it and try to center it as best I can. And I believe that is centered. You can move it around. It's going to take a little bit. Now I'm going to do the top edge with my glue. So same thing I just did. Now you can do this with your glue gun but it might not be a permanent outcome. I'd like to have a permanent outcome. Now with the wax you can make it as dark or as light as you'd like. I did the clothespins some dark some light to have different color variations. So I'm just trying to get the top area all around. I'm going to close my glue and put that aside. Now I'm going to take my burner cover and stick it as best I can in the middle. So as you can see, it's not going to stick for a while. And I'm going to need something heavy on this to hold it down. So I am going to take a container and put it right on top to hold right in place. I'm using my hardener for my resin. So here's what it looks like right now. The bottom and the top. So we're going to start on the bottom with the clothespins. So I stained all the clothespins. You take whichever side you like. It's fairly easy. This is going to make a bowl effect 
all the way around your burner cover. It's going to be a little country-ish and you just start putting your clothespins around the outside. You could glue them. You don't have to. Some of them are bigger, so I'm going to go with the smaller ones. I'm going to leave the bigger ones out for right now. I might use the bigger ones on top, but I want to have enough for my entire burner covers. I'm thinking I might do the top with the larger ones. So I got some of the clothespins at Walmart. I got some of them at the Dollar Tree. And I like how it has different colors of the brown. You have to wait for this to dry. So I, that's why I had already done it. But with this wax, this antique wax, it doesn't stain your hands. And it doesn't smell. That's why I really, really like that. I like how this has a little bit of darkness there. And I'm going to start sticking the taller ones on top. Right up here. And right down here. So, I'm going to continue to go around the bottom and around the top. I'm going to make this one a little deeper on the top. We'll see how we like it when it's done. So this is what the top is starting to look like. And then we'll go down to the bottom again. It's going to make a little tray kind of a bowl looking. You could glue these down. It's entirely up to you. I might add glue once it's dry. I just am not sure. Because I want to see if I like it. And if I do, I will most definitely use Gorilla Glue to make sure that everything is secure. So nothing falls off. So this is what the bottom's looking like, which I actually think looks really awesome. So like I said, the bigger ones are on the top, the littler ones are on the bottom. I'm just trying to get it all done. So you can see what it looks like and then of course it's going to have to harden and I'm pretty excited about that. And I'm thinking I might take some twine and put it around the bottom and the top to jazz it up a little bit. It's a pretty simple project, and I think it's really cute, but you need to wait 24 hours for everything to harden, and that's kind of good in a way, too, because if you don't think that it's even in, or centered properly, you can always fix that. I'm trying to make sure they're up straight. I do like the different colors of the wood. I'm thinking I might put some twine around where the silver is for the clothespin so that it gives it some definition. Hopefully I wax, put enough wax on enough clothespins. I am not sure I got quite a few clothespins, but 
I didn't know how many I'd actually need. It just came to my... I had a thought and went with it. Now you can change this and make the bowl deeper on the bottom and more shallow on the top. It's your preference. I'm coming around actually on both sides so I hope, fingers crossed, that I have enough clothespins. And this will be cute, I believe, all year round with the wood from the candlestick and the wood from the clothespins. Add some twine around it to snazz it up a bit. You could put a bow on it for a holiday, for Easter or any holiday you like, Christmas, it'll hold your items in there, like a little bowl. I'm really hoping I have enough of the tall ones for the top. So I'm thinking once it's dry, I'm going to turn it over, flip it over, and glue all my clothespins so that they are secure. But for right now, I am unaware if I have enough clothespins for the top, actually. Oh, I think this is adorable. I think I might be able to fit one more down here. Hopefully. If not, I'm going to have to space it out. Yes, I did. Okay, so the bottom is done. The top, I still need some more. And I'm hoping I have enough to finish this. So... That is what I am trying for. Because I have quite a few of the littler guys. So maybe I might do a couple big, a couple small, just so I can complete this. But I believe I am out of the bigger clothespins. So I'm going to put four together and then add a little guy. I don't need many of the little guys, so I'm going to put four together. Uh-oh. My clothespin came apart, so now I have to put it back together. So it's fairly easy to put it back together. You just clip it back together and then I'm going to do a little guy and then one, two, three, four. I like how it has the definitions of color. Turn it around. One, Four. Another one. Okay. And then one, two, three, four. Take this one out. Add a little guy. And one, two, three, four. You can do as many as you like, but I decided four. One, two, three, four. Take this one off. Add a little guy. One, two, three, four. Add a little guy. One, two, three, four. Take it off. Add a 
got a little guy and one, two, two, three, four. So that worked out perfectly, I think. So you just want to make sure that I still have extra of the clothespins, extra. You just want to make sure that your top and your bottom are secure. So I'm going to add more glue around the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to add some twine or something around the bottom part and possibly the top. And I'll come back and show you what it looks like. But I, I believe if I put some twine around where the silver is, it won't look so much like clothespins. So, and see how it's deep? You can put things in there, and then this is pretty deep up here. So, I'm going to glue, and then come back with my twine. Okay, so this is the rope I have. I believe I got it at the Dollar Tree because normally I don't shop too many places. So I'm going to hot glue this. I have it on a spinny tray, okay, around where the silver is. I'm going to put a generous amount on the one end. And I'm going to stick it right in the middle. This will also secure your clothespins. And then nobody will see your glue. So you just want to let it adhere before you go to another spot. I'm pretty excited about this tray. You wouldn't realize it's clothespins. And you can decorate it with bows and eggs and little trees or whatever you have, little knickknacks for different holidays. You can put spices in it. So all I'm doing is putting glue around and holding it on so that it stays on just like that and it's also going to secure your clothespins which I will be putting Gorilla Glue on after it dries and you're just going to keep going around And putting it on help you keep the shape of your clothes pins and I'm going to this is going to take a bit because it's very very thick so you might want to use your box cutter to do this or a razor and I'm going to have to look for that because I cannot find it right now and I'm going to look for that okay I have my Dollar Tree box cutter and I am going to start cutting this right here be careful using these because you don't want to get cut it seems to be working better than the scissors but not great I mean it's kind of going through but I'm sure you don't want to sit here and watch me doing this 
so I am going to turn off my recorder while I cut the rope. Right now it's on a spinny tray and here's the beginning and the end of the rope and what I noticed is while I'm cutting it with the box cutter if you bend the rope it'll make a crease and you can continue to cut and then up here the middle if the middle's here that is not the middle hold on let me find it here's the middle up here and here's the middle down here I pointed to the bottom thing so this is our rope you could take a lighter or something but I think this gives a character right now it's on a spinny tray because it's not dry but I'm going to put some Easter stuff in it to show you what it looks like I don't have a lot of stuff to put in here right now but this is how it looks I have some eggs and some flowers in there and I have two cute little bunnies and more flowers and a tea light candle that can't go in there anyway but it's just what I have on hand right now and this is what it looks like thanks so much for watching have a blessed day and hopefully you'll come back soon and make some more creations with me thank you Bye.